very good afternoon and many thanks for joining us at this time. You're watching News Analysis live on Politics and Business TV. The top stories, President Bola Tinubu directs a mandatory purchase of compressed natural gas-powered vehicles by all government ministries, departments and agencies. National Assembly seeks amendment to the Central Bank of Nigeria Act 2007 to bar top officials of the Apex Bank from partisan politics. River State Government set up judicial panel of inquiry to investigate affairs of governance in the state before he assumed office. Details coming up shortly. Welcome back. I am Omoe Fe Peace of Samere. President Bola Tinbo has directed the mandatory purchase of compressed natural gas powered vehicles by all government ministries, departments and agencies. According to media reports, the president said the directive is in furtherance of the country's effort to trans transition to cleaner energy as CNG enabled vehicles have been adjudged to produce lower emissions. It was gathered that the Minister of Finance, Wale Edun, recently took a tour of the factory where the CNG vehicles were being put together together and promised that the vehicles will soon be rolled out. Addressing members of the Federal Executive Council, FEC, at the State House on Monday, Tinubu said there is no turning back in the energy reforms initiated by his administration, stressing that the move was also in line with his administration's commitment to ensure energy security, drive utility and cut high fuel costs. The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Olai Mikadoso, says the Apex Bank will keep interest rates high until inflation subsides by implementing orthodox policies. Kadoso, who disclosed this in an interview, said the Monetary Policy Committee, MPC, which he chairs, would do whatever is necessary to keep the soaring inflation in check. However, comparative analysis have shown that Cardoso's stance counters that of the embattled former governor of the Apex Bank, Godwin Emefele, who had reportedly oversaw an inflation crisis in Nigeria due to the consistent printing of money to fund government deficit, which was beyond the 5% limit permitted by law. It would be recorded that the monetary policy rate was hiked by 400 and 200 basis points in February and March, respectively, uh, which lifted a key lending rate to 24.7%. Inflation in Nigeria currently stands at 32.2% with food inflation at 40%, a development that has been tagged the highest in in the meantime, the National Assembly is seeking amendments to the Central Bank of Nigeria Act 2007 to bar top officials of the Apex Bank from partisan politics. According to media reports, this was championed by an ex-lawmaker representing Abia Central Senatorial District, Dalentin Mwokwacha, before he was sacked from office by an appeal court sitting in Lagos in 2023. The amendment seeks to prohibit the chairman, governor and deputy governors of the Central Bank of Nigeria from engaging in political activities or becoming members of any political party for three years after service. And this move is not unconnected to the controversy which surrounded a former governor of the Apex Bank, Godwin Emefiele, who was drafted into the political arena in the run-up to the 2023 presidential election. Now, there are indications that the federal government may need to raise a supplementary budget to accommodate the proposed minimum wage increase for workers. The International Monetary Fund gave the recommendation in its latest staff country report for Nigeria, stressing that the negotiated amount may surpass the budgeted amount in the original 2024 budget. According to media report, it also noted that the government might need to raise the domestic and external borrowing ceilings to prevent fresh borrowings from the apex banks, ways and means. The new minimum wage negotiation has been the subject of debate between the organized labor and the government since the beginning of this year to cushion the impact of the harsh economy.
recent reforms in Nigeria, including the removal of fuel subsidy and the unification of the foreign exchange market, have pushed the cost of living to newer levels. A very good afternoon and thank you for joining us at this time. You're watching News Analysis live on Politics and Business TV. Now, the presidency said uh, Bol President Bola Tinubu will not take sides between the FCT Minister Yeson Wiki and the Governor of River State, Siminalai Fubara, over the ongoing political crisis rocking the state. According to media reports, this came as the River State Government took a swipe at the Abdullah Ganduji-led All Progressives Congress, APC, over comment that Governor Simnalai Fubara had committed an impeachable offense. The State Commissioner for Information and Communications, Joseph Johnson, in Port Harcourt, said Ganduji has no legal grounds to talk about the impeachment of Governor Fubara. Also, River State elders and leaders in People's Democratic Party, PDP, and All Progressives Congress, APC, said uh, to be loyal to the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Minister Yeson Wiki warned Governor Fubara not to tamper with structures at the House of Assembly quarters. Meanwhile, youth of River State have urged the President Bola Tinubu to take action and call the FCT Minister Wike to order over the continued political crisis in the state. However, the Special Advisor on Media and Publicity to President Tinubu, Ajuri Ngelali, during an interview on national TV said, anyone with the belief that President Tinubu would take the aside in the political crisis would be disappointed. According to him, President Tinubu will not allow any attempt to frustrate the Rivers government. In the meantime, Governor Similalai Fubara of River State yesterday disclosed plans to set up a judicial panel of inquiry to investigate how the affairs of governance were conducted in the state before he assumed office. According to media reports, this may not be unconnected to the face of between the governor of Fubara and his estranged political godfather, Yesom Wike. Recall that the crisis between Governor Similalai Fubara and now FCT Minister began in October last year after members of the State House of Assembly loyal to Wiki attempted to impeach Fubara. It was gathered that Fubara had on Monday called on the new Rivers State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Dagogo Iboroma SAN, to brace up for legal challenges ahead. Fubara made the call at the Government House in Port Harcourt during the swearing-in of Iboroma as the new Attorney General of the State, a position which was previously occupied by Professor Zakios Adan SAN, who is said to be Yeson Wiki's loyalist. The governor said he was bringing in Ibiroma as the new attorney general at a critical time when there were lots of legal matters that needed to be tackled with bravery and courage. I'm being joined now by a political analyst and also a veteran journalist, Cosmos Igbunobi. Thank you so much for joining us. A very good afternoon to you. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here. Well, um, it's uh, only okay for one to, you know, uh, note or mention the fact that uh, we have been on this issue, uh, I mean, since uh, October last year, when the face of between uh, Governor Simnalai Fubara and, uh, you know, the former governor, who is now the FCT Minister, Yeson Wike, started. And, uh, you know, at the time, I had actually asked you if, you know, you saw an end in sight to the face of between these two uh, politicians. But here we are. In the month of May 2024, the, the, the crisis or the, 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 the misunderstanding continues. You know, one would begin to wonder what the real issues are. But how best would you describe, you know, the back and forth between Governor Simnalai Fubara and the FCT Minister Yeson Wiki? Well, if you recall that October you just mentioned, I did say that uh, the battle has just uh, begun. begun. Yeah, and uh, I, I think mm -hmm. I'm right from the look of... Uh, from the unfunded uh, uh, political drama in the state. In all of this, democracy is on trial. And uh, I want to salute the courage of uh, Mr. President 
who through his uh, spokesman have told, said he will never intervene, intervene in such matter. Uh, even though so many people have wanted him to use his executive fiat to maybe uh, order the governor to do one or two things. Uh, so I thank God that he has openly said he was not going to take side. And I want to believe that the president will not take side in this matter. And since he said that, then I think um, somehow it has become an impetus to the governor. He has emboldened the governor to now begin to take the war to the doorstep of uh, the former governor of the state. He's now to, beginning to really uh, assert himself as the governor of the state. And these are the people, these are the things people had wanted him to start earlier. But I think he, he was trying to uh, uh, play down certain things, thinking that the, the, the battle would just end in a few months after their uh, inauguration. But you have seen it now that the, the, the whole system or the whole uh, structure has been activated to really uh, remove him from office. And who will see that and then still uh, sit comfortable in his office? Well, one would say that uh, there is so much impunity going on right now. When you look at, you know, the face of between the FCT minister and his, uh, uh, should we call him his godson, since yeah. he's weekend has been tied yeah. to his godfather. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it, it, it speaks volumes because at the end of the day, all of this is happening, you know, at the detriment of, you know, the masses. We know, of course, that uh, there are a number of issues that residents of River State actually need the state government to address. But now all of that has been put on hold because of this distraction that, that yeah. brings me to the question as to whether or not the interest of the masses you know should be put on hold because of this you know um i don't want to say petty because it appears the issues on ground are really very serious well uh, it's very unfortunate that uh, even the the god's uh, father that is i'm talking about the fct minister here has uh, he, he told the people of uh, river state a few days ago that uh, in fact he apologized for uh, imposing uh, FUBARA on them as a, as a governor. Look at that word. Imposing uh, or nominating, let me just if, if or anointing him. Anointing him as mm -hmm. your governor. It means that, and I said it here once the other time, see, it means that our vote does not really count Count's. in this country. If somebody can stand up and say, I put this person, I anoint this person, and therefore he's he supposed to be making returns to me and take orders from me, it means that we have no business. It means that we, we, the, the governor, in this case, Fubara, is not accountable to the people of River State. Once he's servicing his godfather's interests, I think he's safe. But this thing has to change. It has to be accountable to the people. Just like uh, one man mentioned, he said, we can only had one vote during the election. These other thousands of votes came from people. And the governor owed them a duty. As enshrined in the constitution. So have is the governor of the state. And he shares the affairs of that state. At the end of the day, it is Fubara's administration. It's not Wicked's administration. So all these things, just like you said, is a very big distraction. And you know when you have a political fight in your hand, it comes with a lot of things. Right. A lot of people feed from that. A lot of interest comes as if they're helping you and this and that. All these litigations you see, it, it goes with uh, it takes some public uh, fund, the state fund this time around. All those big names that I see talking and doing this and that, they are not doing it for free. It is the public fund, it is the reverse money that is going into these things. And at the end of the day, all those projects that ought to be executed with this money can, can just be frustrated. That is, that is the unfortunate situation here. You know, at the end of the day, it makes the democracy that we are practicing in this part of the world, you know, uh, laughable, perhaps, I mean, for the lack of better word. Yeah, because yeah. at the end of the day, one would say that uh, there wasn't really any need for an election, you know, to, to, to happen, I mean, to, to, to be conducted, in, uh, you know, in that state. Exactly. Especially when you know that you personally, you single-handedly anointed a Somebody. candidate mm. and literally you imposed this person on the, the people of River State, not necessarily because of his antecedents yes. or not because you 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 are you were confident that this person would be able to deliver but because of personal interest again that's why some people will say that politics is all about calculation yeah. but it appears the calculation has you know uh, as, as has failed yeah. but um as it stands at this moment while we're yet to really get sense of these issues because all that has been going on you know it has been uh, you know speculation that it could be this it could be that 
But the, the, the big question now would be, are the issues on ground, I mean, are they, are they, are they issues that cannot be reconciled, you know, in, in good faith, in such a way that both parties can, you know, carry out their responsibilities without fear of favor and without trampling, you know, on each other's uh, uh, rights? The, the only way forward, you know, you know I, I, I also blame uh, Fubara also for entering such agreement with his godfather. So many of them have done that in the past. And this is just one case too many. Because the fight will always start at the point you begin to see those agreement, terms of agreement, as something you cannot really continue with. Right. You want to assert yourself as a governor. You want to do certain things as a governor. And you now begin to listen to people, the yearnings of the people, right. trying to answer their call. Which may not be in line with what the agreement you the entered agreement. into. Because when you begin to use this uh, money that ought to be used for project to service this uh, interest, it means that every other project will suffer. But when you say, uh, when your conscience begin to beat you, you will say, no, I think this is not good for the people. That is exactly what is happening. There are agreement. Yes, you blame FUMA for entering such agreement. But somehow along the line, he has realized that these agreements are not in the general and in, in the best interest of the people the of Liberty State. Right. And what will you do? You have to withdraw. Not that you will not accord the man that put you there, so to say, respect. But you cannot do it at the detriment of the people, the largest uh, society there. You understand me? So it cannot be a, a minister here and you be, be administering the state from here. And don't forget, we can have this turn eight years. Right. And I remember so many people that try attempted to even correct him you know, over certain things. They were really chased out from the state. And how much more look at what he's doing today. The governor cannot come to, uh, to Abuja unless you, you, you takes uh, 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 permission from him. It's not done anywhere. You enter the state, you organize a, a, a function to just attack the governor. You are only, when the, who will do it on that weekend? You can't do it and they will still have your head on your shoulder. Well, um, uh, one would say that uh, Yeson Wike is uh, known to be an outspoken person, mm. uh, but will it be right to now tag him a troublesome uh, person? Well, I wouldn't know. But when you when you check the uh, dictionary meaning of troublesome, is is somebody that uh, always gives in to quarrels. Do you understand me? Right. So when you come to political troublesomeness, I think Wike is a good example. Okay. Because even in the so-called PDP, I don't think any sending mind in PDP will still see Wike as a level-headed person. If you look at his artisan, even from the time of uh, he brought. Uh, Modi Sharif as a national chairman. He also brought him down. He now brought Secondus. Along the line of Secondus disagreed. He brought him down. He also contributed in bringing Ayu. And along the line, they used Scott to stop Ayu. Now he wants to have his way again. So you can't continue to have so he, 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 he gives So he's giving, to, he he's giving to this kind of game. Well, mm. there's so much to talk about there with mm. a lot to take in. But uh, at the same time, one would say that, um, is that really, you know, uh, befitting, you know, uh, for a politician who actually sees himself as a leader? Well, but uh, again, that is his uh, mm, uh, his personal, business, yeah. yeah his it's, business. It's, that's you his, see his, his business. as a business. So yeah. for, for you, Fubara is at fault for even entering then that, uh, whatever uh, agreement, agreement with, yes, you know, yes, the yes, now yes, minister yes. of the FCT. Yeah, but you could make a but, mistake and along the line once you correct it. Well, let me ask you, yes. if you were to be in Fubara's shoes, what would you have done differently? Well, if I were to be in Fubara's uh, shoe, first of foremost, when I when we are, when we took out of office to serve the people, not to serve that interest we are talking about, mm. you hit the ground running. You know where the your predecessor stopped. You start doing those things that will really impact on the people. Let him now talk. Do you understand me? Let him. Okay, if you want to construct a road, with that uh, Godfather say, why are you doing this road? Do you understand? Me? So and again, you see, I want to believe that Fubara thought it was a choice play. Maybe, he wasn't prepared. Uh, yes, he wasn't prepared. Maybe he didn't know his godfather very well. <laughs> That's what I mean. So it was just recently that maybe he woke up from his slumber. That's what I mean. That is why somehow I said he has taken the fight to him. You know, he can't leave the man to have a way. And I've said it here, we can we never allow that it were to be his time. 
Can the governor and then uh, wait for somebody to be giving instruction? President can give you instruction, but not ordinary person from that state to give you instruction. Because we, we, the people of River State, they don't know Wiki again, as far as governance there is concerned. But they, they, they regard him or they acknowledge the fact that he is like a, he, he a, a did, godfather, he worked, political godfather he worked, of but River he, State. He's overdoing this. Okay. He's overdoing this. Now, Governor Simla Lai Fubara of River State yesterday disclosed plans to set up a judicial panel of inquiry to investigate how the affairs of governance were conducted mm. in the state before he assumed office. Why is this coming at the start? Well, well let, let, let me just read this way. First and foremost, I told you he has taken that fight to Wike. Wike has been pushing the fight to him all this way. Maybe he's now reacting. But again, he may also be probing himself because he was part of that government. Absolutely. Yes. So you cannot, because there is a rat in the house, you put the house on fire because you want to kill a simple rat. These things will go. At the end of the day, you have your eight years by the grace of God. All by the of, grace of God. All of you will still... Uh, meet somewhere. That's one funny thing about our politicians. They knock our heads, they use us to make this noise. And then I pity some of those state assembly members, some of uh, those relatively unknown politicians that may, maybe they are now somewhere in occupying one position. They don't understand some of these games. Sometimes stray bullet can hit any of them right mm -hmm. <laughs> it's 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 all games i mean mm -hmm. it's all but, games. yeah it's all but games. um as it is you know one will begin to wonder who is going to win this fight between yeah. fubara and yes on wiki well uh, because uh, now you say fubara has taken the fight to, to wiki. wiki yes, wiki yes. Will retaliate again. and then the he president will, will is top, saying he that will, he will top his game okay but you don't forget the governor is in charge of the state do you understand me? But is he well rooted? Uh, if he's to not, contend with if someone he's, like this, not well rooted. Some people that are well rooted are beginning to align with him. They will teach him the rope. Okay. They will teach him the rope. That is all about governor. As you, are, not, you can be made governor today, even if you are not prepared. Some people around you will take you through. What is this? Is it that Fobara has the best brain in the river state? No. Is it, after a while, you see him also behaving like weak. That's the one thing about these people. Oh. Once she get it takes root, once she gain ground now, mm -hmm. you see the truth bruh. Okay. Apart from this week, eh, you could also have too many other fights. Well, let's assume that Governor Fubara is making, you know, baby steps mm -hmm. at the moment. Mm -hmm. Let let's let's see how mm -hmm. it will all Somehow, pan out. Somehow he may also be leading the body movement of the presidency. Fubara, you mean? Yes. He may also be because the fear then is that the presidency may back week. Eh, to also use federal might to do certain things in the state. But the president has graciously said we are not really prepared to side take any side. But, but is yes on wicked not uh, like a tool? I mean, for the no pun intended, but mm. for the lack of better word, isn't he like a tool that you know this administration is using to orchestrate some sort well, of uh, well, 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 you we, know, we were, told, uh, we were told that he was uh, hired to do certain things for the ruling government. But that is an that, that is a rumor at some quarters. Uh, he was uh, he was hired to destroy uh, Labour Party, destroy PDP, then take some states to APC. So that was even why Fubara was afraid that it's possible he was doing this to take this river state to APC. But who knows? Who told you that Fubara cannot support Tinubu tomorrow? Anyways, mm. it's all politics mm. they say and. Um, it is no news that uh, politics is a dirty game. Very dirty. Right. Very dirty. Well, we just have to leave the conversation here now. Uh, we keep our fingers crossed. Uh, we, uh, as much as we keep our fingers crossed, you know, mm -hmm. to wait for more events. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. We also, you know, uh, hope to see these two mm -hmm. come together. This week, now, shake Pobara, hands. Next week, it will be <laughs> Shake hands and say, you know, it's it's over. We're no yeah. longer going to fight. Let's yes. put the interest of, yes, you know, the, the people river, of Rivers, yeah. you know, first. Mm -hmm. But I must thank you so, I mean, for always uh, a very yourself or obliging us whenever we we have you know or there is need to discuss the issues mm -hmm. in river state mm -hmm. cosmos ikunobi is a veteran journalist and also political analyst thank you so much for talking thank to you us very much. we'll leave you with a question as who you i mean as to who you think would uh, win this fight between uh, yeson wiki and uh, governor similar life fubara please do well to leave a comment we'd like to you know get your thoughts but that's it for now on news analysis i am a more of a piece of i'll be back in a moment with the news of update. Good afternoon.